Hey, hey guy 45 here. Thanks to NC Silencer, look what we have. We have a Beretta 21A with a so suppressor. Yeah, I mean, some people call them silencers. They don't make things silent. And this one happens to be a Genesis 101116 Micro. Okay, but it's a Genesis. And this is a 22 long rifle Beretta 21A has a loaded magazine in it and I've not figured out how to get around in the barrel. Oh, that's how you do it. Let's shoot quietly. <laughs> that's neat. Woo! <laughs> Cool. Must be empty. Let's find out. Yes. <laughs> oh yes, it's a Beretta 21A. I don't know if you're familiar with this, uh, mainly because I don't know you all. I don't know all of you. This is uh, an interesting design. You've probably seen these in gun shops and around. Been around since uh, 1984 and, and some models that were similar to that even before that, the, what, the 950 and, and others. Uh, Tip-up barrel design. That is the really uh, I guess I could use the word unique, the unique feature of these. I mean, how many semi-automatic pistols do you know that open up like that? That's pretty neat. Pretty easy to keep safe, isn't it? And to know whether it's safe. Doesn't matter whether it's a loaded magazine or thing or not, uh, not much to worry about. So, uh, that's pretty cool. And, and these are popular among uh, some people. They come in 20, or, uh, 22 long rifle and 25 uh, caliber ACP, mainly. And, uh, you know, people old people like myself who can't maybe work a slide on a semi-automatic you know two week or something you almost never have to work the slide on this thing think about it load the magazine put it in there wouldn't necessarily have a cock it, uh, you could it's a double action uh it's a single action design but you just tip up the barrel this little lever here you know that works it's pretty clever and put around there in there close it up and start shooting so it's, a, it's an interesting design. Uh, I don't really need to take the suppressor off, I guess, to, to show you. And it breaks down pretty simply. We'll do that before it gets too hot. You just uh, tip the barrel all the way forward and pull that back a little bit and up. Slide comes off. So it's pretty simple to clean and, and to operate. It's very interesting. I, I've always thought these were uh, fascinating in a way because they're, they're almost... Uh, well, they're not like a brake top Schofield revolver or something, but they're they're different, you know, in that sense, you know, where all the other designs uh, don't do that, you know, where your barrel tips up and that kind of thing. So pretty interesting from that standpoint. But it's a double action to single action. It's a 22. And speaking of 22, let's open up some of this new Federal ammo. We appreciate them sending it. This is uh, <laughs> this is interesting. Nitrogen packed, weatherproof and waterproof. So any good survivalist should have, you know, the basement stack full of these, right? Now, actually, uh, yeah, we do appreciate uh, Federal sending this, but uh, 22 is different from other ammunition. I've had some I've left in the barn for, uh, uh, you know, years, months, or whatever, and it, it doesn't act right. It doesn't, uh, uh, you know, operate as reliably. If it's been in extreme temperatures, it, it just doesn't. So. Uh, maybe this is a good idea. I don't know. Not, couldn't hurt. Nitrogen pack 22. So let's load this. I'll let you look at that while I'm loading. Uh, <laughs> but uh, magazine holds seven or eight here. I don't know. We had eight in it and it uh, seemed to hang up a little bit. We'll see. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm not big on cramming the last round in a magazine if it's tight. Glock or whatever firearm it is. SIG, MP, H and K. Uh, so this is just standard ammo. These guns uh, do like hot ammo. It is a, a blowback design. There's no extractor. So it relies on the force of the round to throw the slide back, inject the round. So they don't operate as reliably with lighter ammo. I think this, even this standard, we've tested it, the standard velocity uh, uh, Federal seems to work okay, at least with the suppressor on, okay? And the suppressor helps in that regard a little bit. So. Let's put a magazine in. This is the Federal. You know what? I might have put an extra round in there. I shouldn't have. I think John did that a minute ago. I figured he was just not knowing what he was doing. You know, blamed it on him. Yeah, okay. 
same thing so then we tip that up put a round in we don't even have to uh, and work the slide all right it's ready to go yeah might not be quite hot enough <laughs> let's uh cut out all right now let's tip it up put another round in we still don't have to work the slide do we all right <laughs> I wasn't even using the sight. Uh, well, with the suppressor on there, you can't see the sight very well, uh, for one thing. Uh, so you just <laughs> you tend to want to just throw ammo, which is pretty neat. Make it safe, pretty easy to make safe. Let's try that again. Uh, because uh, we, we fired three or four magazines of this, so we didn't have any hang-ups. Again, it's not high velocity, but uh, it uh, seemed to be warm enough. It, high velocity ammo is recommended and I really wasn't going to shoot this but uh, it seemed to work so we're going to go ahead and use it let's try it again let's try the gong now again it's double action on the first shot long double action let me try it well if I hit the gong firing double action I'll be impressed with myself here yeah <laughs> yeah, I'm just lining up the suppressor on the gong as best I can, the top of the suppressor. So that's pretty neat, hearing the steel hit like that. Your magazine release is back here. And if you didn't notice, you do have crimson uh, trace on this particular one. That doesn't come on all of them, of course. Those are, those are an add-on and, and a little button right here. You push that, so it's a laser sight. And for some reason, I couldn't see the laser sight on the gong. It's a little bit sunny out here to see the, the dot. Well, it's fun, fun little gun. Uh, you know, in some ways, the 22 makes sense. Uh, you know, with a, a suppressor because 22 you don't have generally high high velocity anyway. And it used to be cheap to shoot, but uh, I just have one magazine here for this gun. We won't shoot it too many times. Just wanted to to show you this little rig and uh, show you what you're missing what you would like to have right pretty cool again it's a uh, oh it's a warm suppressor it's a Genesis uh, 22 long rifle and it does a pretty good job uh, what about this gun before I get it hot again that I want to show you I had like double single action oh yeah the safety uh, now obviously you can have one of these firearms without a suppressor but uh, yeah, as most people would but this, the safety operates whether the hammer is cocked or not. You can uh, put the hammer down, the safety will still engage. It'll engage even at the half cock position, I think. Yeah, so it's an uh, inertial firing pin, so that blocks the slide and everything. Okay, so it's got a thumb safety, kind of like a 1911. So it's right there. And uh, this is one of the most common, probably, pocket guns out there in the last 30 years. You know, I think a lot of the newer designs have replaced that with all the carry permits coming on board now in the last 10 years. Uh, you know, there's so many interesting firearms and larger caliber and reliable and safe and everything that uh, these might take a back seat. But then again, you know, because 22 ammunition is not, even the very best, is not 100% reliable. You know, that's, the always, that's the, always the deal. With rimfire, you just are, you're rolling the dice with rimfire. It's that simple. Okay, it's mostly a target shooting round. You know, hunting, target shooting, not considered a, a good self-defense round. Uh, although I'm sure it's been used. All right, so uh, interesting design. Uh, just uh, the, the grips on this one are bigger. If you have one of these or you have felt one, it probably doesn't have these big thick grips, the Crimson Trace grips on it, like this one does. Actually fits my hand pretty well. They're so large, but. Uh, Cool little gun. Let's shoot it a couple times here. Quietly. I love putting that round and that Barney bullet in the barrel. That's cool. <laughs> All right. We'll start out. I don't have a holster to draw from. Oh, we've got a couple of two liters we've not hit. Let's try that one over there. Ah, safety was on. Wow. <laughs> 
Nice. All right, this one here. I'll just put on a show for <laughs> Oh boy. I don't know if I hit a tin can or not, sliding down the suppressor. <laughs> cool. It needs about a hundred round magazine to, to play with it adequately. Let's pop the suppressor off just to show you that it works. Let's make doubly sure that it's yeah safe. Okay. Easy to make safe, isn't it? Uh, I've got some higher pressure rounds uh, I put in it just to make sure without the... One thing a suppressor does is it creates more pressure backward and so if you have a suppressor on one of these it's more likely to function with ammo like this, the Federal, that's just standard you know, power factor. Uh, so in a way it's a good thing. Let's, uh, these are supposed to be a little bit hotter. And we'll put one in the barrel. And guess what? I almost forgot. All right. Close up the barrel. We'll go double action. There we go. Let's try that pot there. Let's try the can first. Okay. Am I using the side? See, I was going high. <laughs> the suppressor was making me keep the barrel down. Okay, cool. You know what? I like the suppressor a little bit better. Let's put that baby back on there. Get those ears off. We'll shoot another mag here. I know you're in a hurry, but uh, just hang around a little bit longer. There we go. All right. Breda 21A. Uh, Kind of a modern classic little tip up barrel it, you know it, you could do worse i guess uh definitely designed as a pocket gun and uh, without those big grips on it it would be uh pretty small pretty small and uh, interesting to shoot no doubt about it i like the fact that it, it is so uh easy to make safe just put that little barney bullet in there close her up and then, of course, you got your double action long trigger pull on top of that. So, let's go for some steel. Did we, did we hit the gong yet? Yeah, we did. Okay, let's try the cowboy. <laughs> Let me try the gong. Yeah, maybe that was before the video. I hit it, hit it a few times before the video. I have a short term memory loss here, you know. Forgive me. <laughs> okay, what is my problem? <laughs> I don't know what was wrong there. I couldn't figure out where to hold it. We're siding just leveling up on top of the uh, the suppressor, which is not the best way to shoot, of course. I don't know, since I missed, I got to treat that again. Okay, like I say, these, these rounds are right on the edge of being hot enough, but uh, especially as it gets dirty, I guess. We'll shoot just a couple more. You know how it is. I can't quit. Especially on a miss. Gonna throw a couple more. That's good. Alright. And I am gonna throw a couple more at the gong. I'd like to hit it. To hit it before we started. Alright. Where was I holding? I thought I was holding right on top of it. Right down the top of that suppressor there we go yeah we're getting dirty now so we're having issues Put that one back in you know this is the magazine release I think I pointed that out is, is right there that's kind of an odd place for it but again this is not a combat gun yeah, so it's not that big a deal okay close her up Take one more. And it, that or two. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong. Okay. <laughs> I think I need sights, don't I? 
But anyway, it's a it's a fun little gun. I tell you what's more fun. It's more fun just plinking this stuff close and you know popping around and, and you know quietly knocking things around and exploding two liters. That's where the fun is with this. I guess if you want to target 22 to uh, be able to hit it long range, this is not the setup you probably want. However, you know if you got the I don't know maybe some sights or messed with it enough, uh, you could uh, you could probably you know hit most things you want to hit. But anyway the the Beretta 21A, if you weren't familiar with it, it's a pretty uh, nifty little firearm and uh, with a suppressor or not. So uh, might be something you want to consider as something just to, to plink with or, or something to go hunting big game with. I don't know. Life is good.